welcome students today we learn important class of phylum arthropoda so phylum arthropoda consists of class crustacea so crustacea means this class includes prawns shrimps so these are the aquatic arthropods present in the class crustacea so the when we come to the general characters of crustacea so these are mostly aquatic animals so uh, they may live in fresh water or in marine water also so the body is divided into head and thorax and abdomen so head and thorax are fused to form a common structure which is known as cephalothorax so this is important so here the head and thoracic region are united to form cephalothorax which is covered by a carapace so Uh, in crabs this carapace is formed by calcium carbonate in crabs it is a very hard structure uh, made up of by calcium carbonate crab means pitalu telugu lo pitalu antar okay so next cephalic region bears so cephalic means head region so the head region bears so it is a part of cephalothorax so it consists of uh, five pairs of appendages appendages are nothing but uh, projections from the body are known as appendages so these uh, cephalic appendages are the one which are the projections uh, in the head region so cephalic region consists of five pairs of appendages uh, two pairs of antennae one pair of mandible and two pairs of maxillae are present next coming to thoracic and abdominal uh, regions here also projections are present uh, and these are Uh, biramus projections so biramus means the projection or the appendage consists of branch so it is not a single structure you suppose the legs are present the leg consists of a branch that's why these are known as biramus okay in all other arthropods appendages are uniramus they are not branched so the segments are jointed end to end but here in uh, crustaceans the appendages are branched so this is a very important for examination point of view so next uh, coming to the respiratory organs here the respiratory organs are gills next uh, excretory organs are green glands and these are also known as antennary glands here sense organs are the sense organs are present in the cephalic region and they are antennae compound eyes and statocysts Statos statocysts are useful for the balance next uh, development here is indirect development uh, with uh, larval form so examples for crustacean are palemon the prawn prawn means royalu telugu lo royalu antaru and the cancer that is a crab pitalu saculina saculina is a parasite so it is a parasite on crabs we studied it in parasitism chapter next is daphnia which is known as a water flea so these are the some of the examples of a class crustacea this is very important for um, board examination for four marks question i hope you understood the topic happy studying